I think it's locked. Somebody locked. Ah. <laughs> okay. Today, we will be going around this neoclassic Baroque-inspired mansion in Ayala Heights, Quezon City. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Priscello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another Priscello open house tour. So right from the facade, you can tell that yeah, this is definitely a mansion. So I'm gonna give you the numbers. Dito pa lang, and we have 1,600 square meters of floor area and 1,224 square meters of lot area. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of ground to cover, so let's just get right on in. Okay, so from your main entrance or your main driveway, you have here a guardhouse on the right. So you don't really need a guardhouse because again, this is in Ayala Heights, Quezon City. So it's a very, very safe and exclusive subdivision, but it's there if you need it. Especially because, as you will see, this place can be a very, very good events place in itself. So having a guardhouse there for guests is very useful. So you have a small gate on your right, which will lead later to the back of the house, but we're not going to go through there, we're going to go through the main entrance. As we walk along the driveway, you will see your beautiful fountain in front of your main entrance, as well as several ionic columns on this particular driveway. You even have two on each corner. And fun fact, a ionic column is characterized by the scrolls that you see on top. Actually, it's a little bit of a hybrid, but it's not Corinthian. So comment down below if you did your research and can tell us the differences between ionic Oh, Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian columns. Pretty sure architecture students would know. <laughs> okay, so further along the driveway on the left, you have the exit. And then straight and to the right, we have the driveway sloping down to the car park, which we'll go to later on. For now, let's go through the main entrance. And we have this beautiful double door entrance. Very detailed too, mind you. So the first thing that you will see on the left is this little nook with a four-seater, some kind of lacquered uh, furniture, very rich and nice dark wooden furniture. And really it's up to you what you want to do with this. This is technically your receiving area or your foyer, but it opens up to your living area. So this is your guest living area, just that, that area where you can, I said area so many times, but it's that area where you can have your guests waiting as you maybe prepare to go out, etc. And from here, you have this wonderful view of the vista behind your property as well as your swimming pool, which again, we will see later on. Now, the rest of the house has a lot of rooms on this side, but we are going to go through this area first. So let's, let's tour this house very um, systematically because we can get lost in it. All right, so in this, on the left side of the house, we have here this really nice and bright hallway, very aesthetic, right? 
At the end of it, we have a formal living area. So you can tell here from the furniture that yes, it is definitely very Baroque inspired. It's not completely Baroque as you, as you might have known, Baroque is very pastel in color. So they decided to stick with more neutral colors with beiges, golds, and grays, whites. So it's a more neoclassic version of it. And also, yes, all the furniture that you see here is included. So all in, everything you see here is Amazon. So again, this is your um, formal living area, your more private and enclosed living area, which leads to your formal dining area. So you have here a 10-seater table. You could probably fit in a bigger one, but this is perfect, especially given that there is an area rug. So fun fact, or something to take note of, your rugs should fit your entire furniture. So in this case, you have a 10-seater dining area. If the table were any bigger, it would go beyond the rug. So then you would have the wrong size of rug. So this is perfect as is, unless you also want a bigger rug. And a bigger. You, you get it. Comment down below if uh, it's your thing. Rugs are your thing. <laughs> okay, so your formal dining area, you also have your china cabinets, which fit the motif very well, mind you. So it's not your dark Chinese cabinet. It's very light and gilded. Same goes for your buffet console table with this very elaborate decor that also fits the theme of neoclassic Baroque. Also, take note of the ground or of the floor. So in the living room, we had marble and now here in the dining area, we have Nara planks. Okay, so before we continue, make sure you click subscribe if you haven't already because we enjoy making these videos and honestly, Houses like this are such a gem and we're so glad to be able to show you. And when you hit that notification button, you will get notified for whenever, for whenever we release videos like this one. Okay, so from the dining area or formal dining area, we have your formal kitchen with an informal dining area. So you have all of this space in black or galaxy granite. Okay, actually, correction, this is not galaxy, but it is black with silver flecks. Then you have your refrigerator. This is basically your prep area. So your refrigerator, your built-in microwave, storage, a bar area, and then another stove or a stove, your sink, and lots and lots and lots and lots of prep surface area. Beautiful, isn't it? Just imagine doing your dishes in here in front of a window. I don't know, there's just something about doing your dishes in front of a window, right? Okay, so from here, there is a door that leads back out into your living area or your great hall. But we're gonna go through this door. And speaking of doors, take note of how the doors have this arcway or this archway. So it's a very consistent theme in this house and I personally love it. So it's not just your typical rectangular door, but it's very French or Italian, you could also say. Okay, now this room is your daily kitchen with a breakfast nook. So you have here a marble table and then the rest of your appliances. I love this daily kitchen. It's very industrial. You have stainless steel everywhere. You have your built-in microwave, your sink, and this beautiful stove, custom built. I mean, how often do you see stoves like this? Usually in restaurants, right? And we'll get to that in a bit. So I did mention that this house can um, serve as a sort of function house, really, not just a function hall. And that would explain why right under the uh, daily kitchen, we have these, the servers this, or the service, because this house was actually used as an events place. Like whenever the owners would have parties, this is where they would have their guests over. So here we have more of a service area. Right now they're using it as storage. And then you have another sink because again, service area. From here we have a door that leads to the theater. And we'll go there later. Let's go through here first. So from here you can see your six vehicle car port. So, oops, someone's snapping. <laughs> So we are now at the bottom of the driveway that we saw from the front of the house. So when you go down, you will see a three car slot that's covered and then the rest is out here in the open. 
We also have access to a small gate. And over here, we have a washroom. And then we're not going to open it anymore, but that is the washroom. And then as we head back, this is one of the staff quarters. So staff quarters and then their washroom. So let's go back in here. Now technically, there would have been a different way to go to the theater, but this is also pretty interesting. So this is, of course, just a service pass through from obviously the service area to the theater. So generally, your guests would not see this. But I wanted to show you from this angle. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to show you the theater room from this angle is because, well, is this angle not beautiful? From here, you can see your six Lazy Boys or theater chairs. You have your um, audio system, you have your bar, then you have a nice little dining area in here. So it's a perfect entertainment area. Your whole family and your extended relatives can all be here and watch a movie via the projector on the ceiling. So you otherwise would have been able to go here through this door. So I'll show you later where this connects to, but this is generally where your guests would have been able to come in through. And then this would have been their view. So we went through the service entrance. <laughs> but from here, we have yet another double door. And this one leads to your guest bedroom. So you have a lot of space. You have access directly from the outside, from the side of the house. And then we have an ensuite, toilet and bath. We also have here some storage. So it already comes with built-in shelves. It's really bright. They used an LED panel there. Not just a light bulb, a panel. So let's go back out into the theater so you can see it from this perspective. And we're still not gonna go through the stairs where people generally would have come from because I wanna show you this door. So when you open your French doors, you will be led to this sort of ante room and then through this beautiful double door. And you're instantly in the backyard. So the first thing that you will see is on your left, my right, my left, your right, is a toilet and bath for the guests. And then your covered sitting area. So we have here a nice little setup and then a higher bar type setup over here and then a trellised area over here. But that's not the only thing in your backyard. Let's go through the stairs. <laughs> we have this entire area. So we have another sitting area. This one is your lounge or sunbathing area and you have a swimming pool with a dipping pool or a kiddie pool and more water features. And take note, you have a view of the mountains from the swimming pool. It's not an infinity pool but really who's counting at this point? It's gorgeous! And apart from the view being gorgeous, the house itself is beautiful. So let's go back to the main area through the back door. Not gonna lie, your back door looks like a main entrance as well. Comment down below if you agree. And I am back again in the living room. And from here, you can see that your living room has a great view. And to think we're only on the ground or second floor and ground floor. <laughs> Technically, that one's the basement. So anyways, from here, I can see the main stairs and also the stairs that leads down to the theater. So this is where we would have entered the theater room 
if we had gone through here, but I instead showed you through the service door. <laughs> Just for flow's sake, so you don't get lost. Comment down below if, so far, you are following the flow of this house. Okay, so from here, we have here this beautiful arcway or archway, and it leads to this hallway. And the first thing is a guest comfort room or powder room with beautiful and subtle details, such as that window and the nice two-tone tiles that they have used. Okay, so following that, have here the end of the hall with some storage, and then a bedroom. So I'm just gonna tell you later how many bedrooms this house has, but this is one of the bedrooms on the ground floor, and you have a lot of space. So you have here a window with a view again of the mountains. You have a built-in headboard already with gilded details and rouging. Lots of windows, lots of space, and an ensuite, toilet and bath. So we have here your sink, your water closet, your bathtub, lots of storage space, and then an enclosed shower space with mosaic tiles. Hopefully you can see it. You have these beautiful, you have this beautiful curved corner, which technically isn't a corner anymore, is it? And a niche with, again, that beautiful mosaic tile or tiles. Isa lang tile. <laughs> and then from this bedroom, we have another door that leads to the office. So this is a nice little office, especially when you have a work from home situation, right? Where you can entertain your clients because this office is right next to the main entrance of the house, which of course you will see later on. It also has a very convenient toilet and bath. So now let's go out the office's door that leads back into your great hall or your formal living area where we can now properly see the main stairs and head up. Oh, by the way, if you or anyone you know is selling property, so your property or your friend's property, do let us know if you want us to help you market it. Go to our website and look for the tab, sell my property. Oh, or just go to the description down below and look for the link. This video is sponsored by Carousel, the leading online platform for buying and selling new and secondhand goods. In Carousel, everyone wins. Buy, sell, give. Anything goes. On the second floor landing, we have the family area as well as a view of all the doors on this floor and the accent walls here on top of the uh, main stairs. So it's this elaborate mosaic pattern. So they kept the colors consistent with the gold, the champagne, and the mirror. So to keep it clean, but still Baroque. Okay, so from here, you see behind me double doors, and this is clearly the master bedroom. Take note as well that each door has a peephole. Peephole, parang nawala yata yung boses ko Okay, so this is your master bedroom. You have a ton of space. Your bed, by the way, as well as your chest over here and your side tables and your vanity are all Versace. And yes, it is included in the house. So just take a look at all of that fine, fine detail. And then you have so much space that you even have a sofa set over here. This is your entertainment area, which by the way, again, it's not gilded, although it does look like it from a distance but it is bronze, painted in bronze or gold. <laughs> and then you have, along with the same door, an ensuite, toilet and bath, which of course has a lot of space. You have your enclosed shower space, your sink with this very nice mirror set up. That way you can see yourself in different angles. This bathtub with a view of the back of your property, your water closet, another enclosed shower space, and then another sink. Basically, there's a his and hers. Magkahiwalay lang siya. So, his and her sinks, his and her shower spaces. <laughs> and then through the sliding glass door, we have your walk-in closet. So you have a lot of space here. You have shelves, you have hanging rods, more shelves, drawers. Here we have a nook for more storage. So this isn't exactly your wardrobe space. It's simply storage. So you have overhead shelves and more shelves over to the side. You have no reason not to be organized in this house, or specifically at least in this, this uh, walk-in closet. 
more hanging spaces, more shelves. And then in this corner, one step down, have a nice mirror. So this is where you check yourself out. Make sure your outfit is all cohesive. And then there's a door behind you that leads to your altar room. So, or your altar room or your prayer room, which has access to a balcony. So this balcony is at the front of your property. And I would like to correct myself earlier. In the master bathroom, I said that you had a view of the back of your property. I meant the front of your property because this, again, is at the front. And, it's what, and it is the balcony that you see from the facade. So going back in. Again, your prayer room or your altar room. And I love how the room isn't just square. So you have this corridor that slopes. So it's very graceful. Again, you have a peephole. And then you are back up into your family area. So now we have a chance to explore the other three doors. So right next to the prayer room, it kind of feels like I'm going through a condominium floor, actually, since all of the doors have a peephole. <laughs> Imagine, no? Each room is actually as big as some condo units. I mean, this is a mansion. So this bedroom, again, has a lot of space. You have seating over here, windows, your built-in bed frame, and then an ensuite, toilet and bath. Now you have a lot of hanging space over here, over here, shelving, your sink, your water closet, your enclosed shower space, and your bathtub. Now, I like this one in particular because of the tiles that they used. It's very geometric, very modern. You wouldn't think it fits Baroque because it's not Baroque, but it fits the design very well. I like it when they mash things up. And even if it's not the same theme per se, it still looks good together. And you also have more storage over here. It's mirror though. Hi, John. <laughs> Just my way of showing you guys. John. <laughs> okay, and right next to that, we have another bedroom. So as you can see, the bedrooms are not exactly the same. Their configurations are different thanks to the shape of the house and also the wood or the finishes that they chose. So this one has a checker or checkerboard design for the headboard and the, the lightings are, or the fixtures are different. Have another seating area. And then this louvered sliding door leads to your walk-in closet. So you have lots of space or surface for your vanity. So it's not an office because there is storage underneath. You can't really use a chair. Your legs aren't going to fit. So it's more for a vanity than lots of shelving, drawers, hanging rods, shelves. By the way, in case you're wondering, so yeah, all the furniture well, earlier before the shoot, everything was covered in plastic. This one was left in plastic because this house technically was never lived in. So it's not exactly brand new, but it does feel new because again, it hasn't been lived in, but it has been used for parties. As you saw downstairs with the serving, uh, what is that called? The serving tray. Comment down below if you know what it's called because I certainly do not know anything about the uh, culinary arts. <laughs> so anyways, we have uh, an ensuite, tote and bath. So this one has a more brown, warmer, and earthier colors. You even have a bit of maroon in there for the mosaic tiles. So I have your enclosed shower space again with the nook or no, <laughs> the niche there with the same kind of mosaic tiles, your bathtub, your water closet, and your sink. I also have a bit of hanging space over here in drawers. Then back out into the garden, garden, <laughs> back out into the family hall. And we have here these double doors. Oh, I can't wait to show you this one. Right? You've got these modern arcways or archways. This is such a beautiful veranda. It's nice and windy. We have a perfect sunny day, all of this space, and all of this view. You can see the mountains, you can see your subdivision, your neighborhood, 
which has beautiful houses, mind you, because again, this is in Ayala Heights. And speaking of heights, this property is the highest point in the subdivision. So you literally have the best view, correction, the best unobstructed view of the mountains. And really the cities, because this is, what is this? Antipolo, Quezon City, Marikina. You have a view of a lot of cities just from here. It's amazing. So you have your sitting or your seating set up over here. And yeah, there's one more floor to go. Up the marble stairs we go. So if you thought the view from the second floor was great, well, of course this is even better. You have more height here on the third floor, or rather on the roof deck. And again, a better view of everything, really. Look at that. All of that. And you're only seeing the tops of trees, possibly the tops of your uh, neighbor's wonderful roofing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even being sarcastic. People's houses here are amazing. So you can see all of that. And enjoy this breeze. My goodness. Okay, so this area, obviously very, very windy, <laughs> was primarily used for parties. So this area can comfortably fit 300 people. Yeah, 300 guests in here. Imagine this during the nighttime when it's nice and cool and everyone is gathered here for a nice dinner or for some celebration. You can even host a wedding here, to be honest. So you have all of this space on the roof deck. You also have that nice little covered stairway area over there. And that leads straight down. Well, not straight down. Of course, you have stairs. You're not going to jump down, but it leads straight to the ground floor near the driveway. That way, when you have a party situation going on here, they don't really need to go through the entire house to get here. They can just go up the stairs. Okay, Whew. it's a really nice area. Let's do a recap. Baba na lang. Ah, my gosh. This house could be an event, could be an events place in itself, which they have used that exact purpose for, again, because this was not lived in. And again, this is in Ayala Heights, and the highest property in this subdivision, it's so high that the basement that you saw is generally just the second floor of other. It's already the second floor of other houses. It's it's that that high. Okay, so again, the numbers, you have 1,600 square meters of floor area and then 1,224 square meters of lot area. You have five bedrooms, all with an ensuite toilet and bath, and then six additional toilet and baths. So that's a total of 11 in the entire house, including the powder rooms. You have a separate male staff quarters and female staff quarters. You have a six vehicle carport, three of which are covered, three of which, of which are exposed. And technically, you have additional parking space. If you have guests, you can let them park in the driveway or in front of your house because this has a very wide uh, street. And really, apart from the space, obviously, you're paying for the the generous amount of space, you're really paying for this view and the location. Para kang nasa Tagaytay, pero nasa Quezon City ka. That's amazing. So if you or anyone you know is interested in this, share this video to them, or if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.